very serious. Come on, it isn't time just to sort of go into a little death dream. Why is it happening? Well, you're there at the time and I'm not. Bad. While Bad Sam is failing to grasp the importance of this interview, normal school life for the other 926 pupils at Park High School continues. You go from lesson to lesson, reeling with shock and horror that people are telling you off because you don't understand why. No. I don't know why when they tell me off, really. Yeah, I don't chat when she says, when the teacher is saying, like, no chatting, when I don't chat in it. So you do as you're told? No, not all the time. That's much better. This is serious, isn't that right? It may seem like a game, it's not. So how do you get on the good side of a teacher? I don't know. Well, you see other people doing it, obviously. No. No one gets on the good side of teachers. I said I don't see other people doing it except when they go, yes, they had no sad feedbacks for sir. But you don't agree with? No. Why? It's just rude. You should say your piece, innit? Always? No, not always, but sometimes. But you have in the past said things and got yourself into trouble. Yeah, that's because I can't control myself sometimes. You can't control yourself? Sometimes. That's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. What is it about a certain time that stops you controlling when yourself? When people get too faced, innit? If this is a precursor of what's going to happen inside, I'm going to lock you in there now. Get that clear. How do I protect the teachers of this school? Can I make you behave? No. I can't? No. It's impossible? Yes. Right. Take your blazers off. You're sh not you lot. You keep quiet. Sit down. Are you working? Yeah. Are you doing homework? No. Why not? Because I can't do it. Why? No one to talk to? No, because, because, because my mum doesn't know how to help me because she's just as thick. Thick? Yeah. So you're thick? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Have you always been thick? Yes. You were born thick? Yes. I see. When did you first become convinced of that? I don't know. <sighs> it's sad. It's sad. As it went on, I got more and more disturbed about how disturbed she was. Um, I, I don't think I really got through to her because I think she really wants to be accepted and liked but really hasn't got a clue how to do it. The interview has lasted three quarters of an hour. Having issued his final warning, he escorts Sam to her next lesson. Can I just see Mrs. Miguel for a second? Sorry, sorry. I just came to play. I've had some work to with me for the last lesson. It's nice going to come see thank you too. Her final chance. At the end of the lesson, the teacher pours away a cup of coffee she's not had time to drink. Someone has put a number of needles in it. I've been here four years in a term, and I've... And it's, I've never had an incident like that before. Um, usually, the pupils are polite to staff. Ford must find out who is responsible. He'll call the class together to face a questionnaire drawn up that morning. Samantha is absent from school. In between it being brought in here and left in here, and the end of the lesson, some pins were dropped into that coffee. If that member of staff had had time to drink that coffee, she could now be dead, or at least she would certainly be in hospital. And you are here today so that I can discover who put the pins into the coffee. Put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your head. I'm just proving a point. If I wish to bully you, I can bully you. This is a very simple little way of bullying you. Shall I make you stand up on the stools, bend over and touch your toes, sit on the floor? If I was here to get you or be nasty, I could spend my whole life bullying you. I don't think you notice too much of that going on in the school. Take your hands down. The questionnaire, which asks detailed questions about the whole incident and has to be individually signed, is handed out. I honestly suggest you write the truth, or it could be the last thing you write at this school, as it is on the list. When the forms have been filled in, the head takes each girl in turn next door to be interviewed. Some of the girls are reluctant to talk. I don't want to have to do nasty things to any more people than is necessary. I really honestly don't. Do you know anything about this? No. Liar. The girls wait nervously for their turn. Next door, the interviews continue.
It isn't about us and them. How many times can I say that? Do you honestly think I come in every day to harm you? Honestly, is that what you think? It's incredible. When you're an adult, you'll think back on this and you'll wonder what the devil you were doing. Most of the girls in the end say what they know. I heard someone say someone's put penis in me. Right. 